the canvas column in Coda allows me to populate a page with the templated structure whenever I create a new row in a Coda table. For example, if I create a new meeting in this doc, I now have the canvas column within this meeting notes table populated automatically with all this text that is a template following the level 10 meetings from the EOS framework. And this shows the great flexibility that canvas columns in Coda tables provide. So in this video, we're looking at how to set up a canvas column, how you can create this kind of behavior in a row that gets populated automatically with any type of content that you like within that row that acts as a page, essentially, that you can also expand in full screen to see it better and work with it, for example, in this meeting notes row and how you can use canvas columns in general. The canvas column in Coda is a column type. So you can create a new canvas simply by clicking on the new button to create a new column in the table and selecting the canvas column type right here in this selection menu. And the canvas is essentially a page and it is a page that you can also preview directly on a row. And this is quite a new feature. As you can see here, when I go to column options in canvas under settings, there is the possibility to display an editable preview. So if I turn this on, that's what it looks like. In this case, the column is not wrapped. So you can see here only the first part of that content in the canvas is displayed. But if I double click on it, I can now essentially edit the content of this canvas as I like, as if I was inside the page. Depending on the type of content that you have in that canvas, this might be useful or not. In this case, I think it's not that useful because if I'm taking meeting notes, I want to have space to edit and add content actually, rather than being squeezed like this. I can also widen the column width. And in that case, I have more space so that increases the experience. And this is very customizable as much or as little as you like. So you can play around with that setting that I find quite useful for particularly those cases when the canvas content is mostly text rather than having nested tables or views of tables within it. As in every other column in a table, you can also use the field values setting that allows you to use AI, custom prompt or with predefined prompts. You can compose text and in this case, in a canvas column, you could, for example, concatenate different columns to merge them into a canvas value. And you can also use calculations and formulas to turn this canvas column into a formula. In the canvas column settings, you can also select a specific value for new rows. And that's the concept of the template that I shared at the very beginning of this video and how that predefined template happens in this meeting 10, in this level 10 meetings table within Coda. In particular, you can see that the value for new rows in this canvas column is set to be a specific page within this doc that is called level 10 agenda template. This template lives right here, as you can see. It is a page that has all the structure that I showed you before when creating that page. So if I were to edit content in this template, that will apply to the pages that reference this template as well in the meetings table. And because the canvas column is essentially a page, you can add any type of content within it. You can also use the slash command to add any Coda building block, text, layouts, tables, subtables, views of tables, and any formatting that you want. In addition, you can also reference the content of Canvas columns within other columns, within formulas, using it as a variable in the very flexible world of Coda formulas and referencing different values across your docs. And that is all the essentials that there is to know regarding the Canvas column in Coda from my side. That's it for now. Feel free to leave questions or comments that you have about this column or any related feature in the world of Coda down below in the comment section. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.